Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to solve this viral problem that's going all over the internet. It involves this shape. Now, the shape here is a circle with a green area, and then it has 13 white circles inside. And our goal is to find the area of the green part. We are going to assume is that the white circle has a radius of one unit. Okay, so it has a radius of one unit, and that's all we need to know to solve this problem, okay? So if you think you can figure it out, just pause this video right now, see if you can get an answer, and then see if it matches up with our answer. All right, so here we go. What we're gonna do is draw a right triangle. You can see that in the shape now. we know we can find length A, B, and B, C. So one thing we want to, uh, we know that the length of A, B, we can see is if the radius is equal to one, then the length of A, B is equal to four units, whatever those units are. So it's equal to four. We can see that moving over there. Now we also know that the length of B, C is equal to two. And this is going to be crucial because what we want to find now is the length of AC. We don't know that. And we're going to use our good old friend Pythagoras. So Pythagoras tells us that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So let's apply that with our side lengths. Okay. So our length, our C value in that sense is AB. So the length of AB is equal, our squared, is equal to the length of a c squared plus the length of b c squared. So now we can rearrange this. Okay, we want to rearrange it to get a c squared by itself. So to do that, we subtract a b c squared to both sides. Let's put the a c first. So the length of a c squared ends up being equal to the length of a b squared minus the length of b c squared. Well, we know what the length of a b and b c are. So we have that here, AC squared equals AB being four, and we square that, minus BC being two, and we square that as well. This simplifies again uh, to be AC, the length of AC squared is equal to, well, four squared is 16, two squared is four, and we get a 12 here. Square root both sides, and the length of AC is just equal to the square root of 12, which simplifies to be two, square root of three. So now we have the length of AC, but wh where do we go from here? What, how does this help us? Well, we want to find the area of the big circle. So one thing we know about the area of the big circle, I mean the, let's call it big circle, the radius of that is equal to the length of AC plus one, right? The radius of the white circle continues that. We can see now the radius of the big circle is 1 plus 2 square root of 3. Now this is going to be crucial. So let's go find the area of the big circle. Area of the big circle here, all we know is pi r squared, so it's pi times our r value, which we just have here, which is 1 plus 2 square root of 3, all squared. This simplifies, this will simplify to be 13 pi after you square it and then distribute the pi, plus four pi square root of three, okay? And this area of the big circle, all right, is imagine if the white circles were out, it's just that big green one, that's the total area. But we have 13 little circles, right? With a radius of one, okay? So the area of the total little circles right, is equal to, well, there's 13 of them, times the formula for the area of each circle, pi r squared. So we have pi times r, which is 1, and we square that, and that comes out to be a total of just 13 pi. So the area of the total of the little circles all together, and my c's look like my l, all right, is 13 pi. So we're basically there. We have our, our green area we want to find 
is equal to the area of the big circle minus the area of the total of the little circles or the white circles, right? And so that equals, well, the area of the big circle we said was 13 pi plus 4 pi square root of 3. And the area of the little circles, well, that was just 13 pi. Hopefully you can see this. The 13 pi's just cancel. And we have our answer here. Our green area is 4 pi square root of 3. And there we have our answer. Now, if you like this video and you want to see more videos just like this, please let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so we can keep making videos like this. So I hope you learned something. And this is Sean Gannon signing off. Math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com